Hey there, YouTube, and welcome back to Millennial Gameplay. Last time on Final Fantasy XII, we met old Dallin, a guy who just lives in the sewers and knows just about everything. And he told us a way of sneaking into the palace that is incredibly convoluted, and the way to enter the vault in the palace, which is incredibly convoluted. And then he told us to go to the Giza Plains, which has nothing to do with the palace, to get a sunstone for magic's sake, and then to like go no no nomad told us to go find a kid who ran off with a bunch of shade stones that we had to take to dark crystals that turned it into a sunstone and then we went back to the village for no reason and she gave us some stuff along with the sunstone that we had already made in the first place and then we got the crescent stone and then came all the way up here by the way here's where we are on the map which is like old Dallin's is down there to the south and this is where we need to go next for Storehouse 5. And so now we're going to go ahead and go to Storehouse 5. Oh great, it's this fuck again. Hey Vaughn, I finally worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. I wanted you to go in first, so I waited for you to come back before opening it. Well, that's... One of the reasons I waited. Thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. You're gonna need you to fetch them for him, for me. I know, I know, not the most valuable thing to do, is it? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I've got everything I need ready to go. Hang on while I open it. I hate you kites. I hate everything about you. You need to fuck off. It's open. Now we've got a whole nother place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go. No tell them what's down there. It might come in handy. They won't come in handy. The two potions might. The eye drops will only come in handy way later in the game. Like, there's nothing down here that blinds Vaughn. And now we reach the first dungeon of the entire game. The Garum Scythe Waterway. Right off the bat. Save Crystal it. It's a pretty good idea. I'll probably use it myself here in a second. I didn't save between episodes. Um, if you go to the right instead of the left first, though, there's something important of note, and that is a dead end. But a dead end with a treasure chest at the end of it. Also, don't know why. All, like, a good amount of the rats in the Garum Scythe waterway are confused for no reason. Like, that is their status affliction. But they attack themselves immediately, so they lose a little bit of health by the time yeah. you get to them. Like, why? Why bother having that status affliction on the rats for no reason? Like, what caused the rats to be confused with the five gil? That's an amazing treasure. Glad I went all, all the way out of my way to go grab it. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, we're just uh, running through shit and piss this time around. I guess. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, save it. And on we go. To bigger and better women. Alright, so this being a dungeon, I'm not going to use fast mode. and I'm going to try and not cut out as much of it as possible. You'll notice that um, because of my starter class, we still have the potato peeler. Um... There are, there is a chance that some of the chests down here can hold the upgrade of weaponry that we've been seeking for so long. That said, if you don't choose Shikari for Vaughn, then you're probably going to be a lot better off at this point. Like having a two-handed katana, a pole, a sword. Not a potato peeler is the general gist of what I'm getting at here. I definitely recommend not sending Vaughn into Shikari if you can help it, but since I'm doing a, like, a playthrough where I just, I do what I want, I use the characters the way I want, I, I'm not optimizing here. Like, all the characters that you can have, have different stats, and are, like, optimal, like, if you're planning on using all of the classes, there's an optimal setup for doing that. Personally, I don't care. I'm just going to use the classes the way I want to because I'm me. If you want to do something else, that's great. You're you. Do it. 
Although, unfortunately, my decisions now have made me stuck with the large potato bean. You know, there's a challenge run for you. Fucking do the entire game with just everybody having the large potato peeler. Like, you don't even have to be level 1 the whole time. You don't even have to use no armor. Just use the large potato peeler. That's that's the only stipulation. I wonder if there's any other potato peeler looking weapons in the game. Like, I know there are other ones that have, like, cross sections and stuff like that. But this is the only one that just looks like... Like this. I, I, I feel like there are no other potato peelers other than... I have. <laughs> Future Spencer, go ahead and like show a text box, like, tell me, how many times did I say potato peeler in the last, uh, I guess, six minutes? Really? That many times? I'm shocked. I thought it would be at least more than that arbitrary number that I totally don't know right now. You know, I know I'm doing it for a bit. You know, the whole text box thing. But I feel like it'll be a better way. Hey, a broadsword. That's cool. But glad I can use that right now. It's fantastic. I know I'm doing it for a bit, at the same time, all I'm doing is inciting myself to have to watch through the videos to make sure that, like, me currently doesn't fuck me in the future over later on with needless edits. Like, and watch something not work, like the text don't not actually show through whenever the video comes out or something like that, and I just sit here looking like a complete and total jackass. Future Spencer, if that actually happens, edit it in. I know you can do it. I promise you. I have faith in you, me. Don't believe in the me that believes in me. Believe in the me that believes in me. Yeah. So, as, as is expected got rats and bats down in the sewers. I don't know where the bats came from. I think they just put them down here because they rhyme with rats. And ruining that trend is fish. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Um, hold on. Everybody keep your cool for a second here. We've got some, we've got some shit in front of us that's actually really cool. First things first. No, I don't turn game gonna heal up. Just can never be too careful whenever you're down in the sewers fighting rats and fish. But I'm pretty sure everybody saw it, or if you didn't, then you must be, like, you must surely be blind. But there was a fish there that looked a lot more menacing than this fish here. Ooh, a light woman trick. I just remembered, I haven't done this number in a while. Awesome. That's more health for me. Yeah, this guy right here, the Razorfin, is actually a one-of-a-kind monster. And by one-of-a-kind, I mean it can sometimes show up and sometimes not show up. It's a lot more powerful than the other monsters down here. But it's not much we have to worry about. That being said, being a special monster, I'm going to steal from it. Eventually. Alright, you know, hold on. Just, okay, what did I block with? It would be a parry if I blocked it with the potato peeler game. Ding. Add one more to the potato peeler count. I'm going to kill you at some point. Just give me... And there's... Okay, it has poison, apparently. Fantastic. Oh, that doesn't happen too often. Hold on, people. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, split this recording into multiple parts, because... I And by what I mean by that, it's not multiple videos, but multiple recordings, because I don't like how it lagged for a second there. So... 
Uh, this will be part one of this video, and I will be back in just a moment. Ah, there it is. Okay, so I believe that's the only loot you can actually get from stealing from him. But a water crystal is something, like, it's uh, some loot that we won't be able to get for a long time. So it's very good that we got it. And a fish scale. Awesome. Alright, now that I can move on with my life, let's just uh, see if I missed any chests back here. That took a long ass time. Seriously, like, a lot longer than I'm willing to admit. And... I, like, I even, like, fucking went into my licenses, grabbed a few new things, like, um, hold on, let me go ahead and equip it, because I didn't remember to. There we go. Like, I increased Vaughn's, like, natural health, and his, uh, and I gave him the ability to equip the bangle, which is, uh, the, probably my favorite is trinket, short of the golden amulet, in that it'll show you what an enemy's weak to, it's, a uh, maximum health, all sorts of things like that. It is not effective on bosses. Not even a little. Oh, so I guess I can do that at the end. So I've... I believe I've already shown it once. It, you know, future me is not a complete and total fucking scrub. Then I will have shown it at least once the, um... Bestiary, um, at the end of the video, before the end slate. And if I have done that, I'm gonna go ahead and say the razor fin is so going at the end, in like in the end of this video. If I haven't already done that, and it turns out I am a complete and total fucking dumbass who doesn't know how, if the first thing about editing, then um, that's gonna suck for me in the near future yes. because I was like, I'm always talking about these things that I can and do, like and will do, but then I just fucking you know, don't deliver story of my life really. man that fucking fish held a grudge I will say right off the bat that um, razor fin alongside a whole number I believe it's like around 80 something um, different monsters are considered rare game which what that means is just a rare monster it's simple as that. And they'll, like, any rare game has, like, rare equipment, rare items, rare shit. Uh, while, although the method of getting them does vary. Like, generally speaking, stealing from them is always a given uh, method of grabbing something really cool. Um, it will almost always, like, it'll almost exclusively be stuff that you can't get until way later on in the game. Climb the stairs, baby. Climb the stairs. On Where am I going to go? All the way back through the sewers, back to town, where I can maybe do nothing at all? Yeah, fantastic. Great idea, Vaughn. Um, but it's always interesting to fight and steal from rare game. Man, look at those two. So fresh, so cool. Why couldn't it be them instead of me? Like, why why couldn't it be them instead of Vaughn, I mean? Let's go ahead and grab this urn. And now we know the Royal Palace of Rabinaster like the back of our hands, because we have a treasure map. This game doesn't allow you to do that much other than, like, do the main story at the beginning. So, saving of those crystals, there's no worries there. Just do it. Uh, for PS2 players, one of these two treasure chests is one of the four that you cannot touch without destroying the Zodiac Spear. It is the elixir having one. So, bear that in mind. You can grab the antidote, not 
not grab the elixir. It ain't worth it. Have you gathered up all the occasionals? Good. You'll be on cleanup duty after the fate's over. Wait here until we're ready for you. No one goes to the upper floor until we give the order. Step out of line and you will be punished. But these people are hungry. They've just been sitting in a basement all day, waiting for their Imperial overlords to fuck off already. So they can leave and go eat. This ain't your average 9 to 5 shift. But yeah, go ahead and grab all the chests while you're down here. Some of them have good shit. None of them are reoccurring chests because this is not a reoccurring area. Wait here until I have further directions for you. What's he doing? Trying to go upstairs. Trying to go upstairs, ain't you? I know. You're hungry. I don't blame you. An empty stomach made me want to crash the fate, too. No, no, no. You's trying it. Uh, that's a fucking weird use, uh, sentence. No, no, no. You's trying to hide it. Look here. I'll help you out. Okay, so press square to call the guard. I'll hand him when he comes. And you make for the stairs. Uh, get too close and he's liable to notice you. Try it. Let's give her a try. Over here. Now it's your chance. Get going. Yeah, helmets ain't that good for peripheral vision. At least that's how I excuse the fact that Vaughn's able to do that. Also, how the fuck does that Imperial notice that a human guy fucking called him over and then talks to the pig once the human guy runs past? What was it Old Dallin said? The signet yearns for sun's own strength to light the clouded way. But there was more. Oh yeah, once in the palace you'll find the signet tile. Give it the sun's power and it'll light your path. Looks like I've got to find a signet to find. Yeah, no, that's the same fucking thing, but said two different ways. Anyway, so there is a rather quick way to deal with this little side quest thing. Over here! You call those two jackasses over here. And you go down. Go ahead and explore to your heart's content. I don't think there's any reason to do that in the not PS2 version, but if you want to uh, fill up your entire uh, Sky Pirates den in the PS2 version, then just like s explore the map. That's my advice to you. Make sure everything's lit up. Ooh, another one of those. I'll never use that ever again. I mean, I know it may sound snarky and sarcastic, but I won't. It's, there are actually better versions of that same thing later on. I know it's a beginner item, but still. Anyway, here's the lion signet. So, let's touch it. And by touch it, I mean... Hold this thing above it. There we go. And then the rest of this side quest is, or not side quest, is the rest of this little section of the game is as easy as pie. Hello. Just uh, call this jackass over. Go back down here. Call these three dumbasses over. Seriously, these are the fucking laziest guards. It's like, well, he moved down the hallway. There's no catching him now. And then time for Tweedledum and Tweedlejackass. Hello. Should have said Tweedledee and Tweedledumass. That would have been a funnier thing to say. Eh, regret. I have a few. But, too huge. And this is the one. The other two, you can inspect the other two gates at the end of the walls, but this is the only one that matters.
history. Well, that takes care of the secret passage. Now, where's this treasure? Hey, watch it. Guess it's not leaving me much choice. Wall. I'd say keep your voice down. The guards might hear you, but at this point, I believe we've established that there's no fucking chance those guards are anywhere near competent enough to fucking, like, do anything about the Bond situation. Uh, there's absolutely not a switch here, by the way. Like, if you look closely now, it's it's just fucking... It's, it's a wall. But it's a switch the game would like us to believe. I play the leading man. Who else? Fran, the Magicide. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. And that's how we obtain the goddess magicide, or the goddess's magicide. Yeah, with a name like Goddess's Magicite, that's no ordinary stone that we just ran across. Especially not if those two jackasses actually wanted to grab it. I mean, by jackasses, I, I'm sorry, I've just been too busy calling people jackasses lately. Those two are actually pretty fucking cool. Oh, I guess, I guess that's backwards. That's cool. Freeze, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! something that belongs to me. Up 
What's going on, Fran? I don't know. It's not heeding me. Uh, don't have time for this. Uh, not slipping. Not good. What happened? A hover didn't just drop, it disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well... Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Listen, thief, Vaughn. If you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you. We're working together now. Understood? Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind. And now Balthier and Fran join the party. With all of that having been done, even I know we just got these two, and there's a lot to go over with these two, because they are the greatest, most awesome badasses that you will ever fucking meet in this entire game. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.